Welcome back to our series on microtransactions in cryptocurrencies. Last time we introduced the concept of microtransactions. Today we're diving into their advantages and how they compare to traditional banking transfers. Hey there, I'm Eva and let's start with the advantages of microtransactions. One of the most attractive aspects of microtransactions is their incredible speed. Traditional bank transfers can take several days, especially if they are between different countries or currencies. For example, sending a small amount through a bank can take several business days due to the need for processing by various intermediaries. With cryptocurrency-based microtransactions, things are different. Technologies like Lightning Network for Bitcoin or second-layer solutions for Ethereum allow payments to be made almost instantly. This opens up incredible opportunities for users, especially those who want to quickly receive a service or product without waiting for long confirmations. Now let's talk about fees. When you send a bank transfer, especially abroad, the fees can be quite high. Banks charge significant amounts for such operations as they involve many parties in the process – intermediaries, exchange offices and other financial institutions. As a result, the fee can exceed even the transfer amount itself, especially when it comes to small payments. For cryptocurrency-based microtransactions, this scenario looks completely different. For example, you can send $1 in Bitcoin through the Lightning Network and the fee will be so small that you might not even notice it. Let's compare with a real-life situation. Imagine you want to send $10 to a friend who lives abroad. Through the banking system, you'll face a fee that can reach 30% of the transfer amount, as well as wait several days for the funds to arrive in the account. In the case of cryptocurrency microtransactions, for example through Bitcoin, this same transfer can be made in a few seconds and with a minimal fee that might be just a few cents. What's your experience with international money transfers? Have you ever been frustrated by high fees or long waiting times? How do you think microtransactions could change this? Share your thoughts in the comments. In our next video, we'll explore how microtransactions are being applied in different industries. Stay tuned!